This is a full walkthrough of the Fire Temple and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So in order to get here, it's going to be in the depths. It's going to be all the way up here on the map. Now you get here. You, this whole thing is part of a quest at Goron City. You go to Goron City. There's a guy right by the center. You talk to him. It does a whole thing. You go up to here to Unobos, whatever. Go to the top death mountain. Fight a, fight a giant dragon thing up there using a wing with a bunch of fans on it. Then it opens up the whole the crater there. You go down there to this light route. And then you find your way over here using a car or just flying or walking or whatever to get to this building right here. That's the fire temple. Now in front of it was a boulder that I already destroyed. You can press A on your friend here and then charge like that to blow it up, which I already did. And now we can go ahead and get into the fire temple. So let's go straight into this. I'm gonna show you how to beat the fire temple. Now this one's uh, very complicated, so I don't blame you for looking this one up. There's a lot of steps to this. So we're gonna head into here. I'm gonna skip any of the major cutscenes here just to save you some time, but we're gonna go into here and you go up to here and there'll be a little bit of a cutscene here and then you'll go over to this thing right over here and interact with it also before this i do want to say you need f this armor that i have in case you're confused on that uh, and this armor can be found in goron city so if we go to goron city there's a shop right here that sells the armor all the pieces combined is like 2500 rupees or something like that and it'll make you resistant to fire you can also use elixirs and stuff anyway we're going to interact with this which will do another short cutscene that i'm going to skip so after that cutscene's over, you're gonna head this way as if you're gonna leave the shrine, but you don't actually leave. Just head this way and then turn right, and this is how we start off inside of here. So, very first thing is an enemy right here. You can just sidestep him like this, or not, and get blasted in the face. I went too fast. Either way, we're gonna go through here, jump across this, and then we're gonna use Ultra Hand. But before we do, hit this thing first, then use Ultra Hand on it, rotate it so it's facing down, and with this, you can create platforms to stand on. I'm just making them haphazardly. You can make them in a straight line or whatever. Jump across or walk across, depending on how you made them. And then you can get over to here. And then you can get inside of here. And then you're going to get in here and swing on this. And then Goro will appear. Or you know what I mean will appear. And you're going to aim to the left. And when you get close enough to this thing, you're going to launch him at this. Like that. But that'll change the track so you go left instead of right. And then you'll be inside of here. Then inside of here is a like-like that spits fire. You're gonna have to actually deal with him before you can continue. You can walk over here and then slowly walk over like this in order to make it so you can easily get over here still. So you're gonna fire at him like that and then come over here and swing on him in order to kill him. I need to put a new bow on after that. Of course, my bow blew up right then. Okay, then we're gonna go over here and we're going to hit this fire hydrant and then grab it. You could grab it to do it later, but there's an incline that we have to walk down and it can roll away from us. So we're just gonna get it to where it's facing down. And then we're gonna hold it over this gap. And then do one there. And do one there. And just, just do a bunch of these, uh, just so you can get a bunch of pieces to work with. So we'll do one more. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go set it over there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and combined two of them end to end like that. And then I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna connect it as well like that. And then we're gonna take it, rotate it across, and then set it like this in order to make, okay, we're supposed to make a ramp, but it actually can catch like that. So let's do a fourth one real fast, like that. There we go. Now we talk to Yonobo and we can charge across and shoot across like that. Then we're gonna run back into here and run up here. There'll be a short little dialogue that we have to get through. And it'll introduce the gong. So now we're going to wait for Yonobo. I don't know where, where's he at. There he is. All right, talk to him. I was trying to avoid turning around, but we're gonna make him charge at the gong. And that is the first gong. After that, there'll be a short dialogue, and then we can move on. So now we're going to backtrack the way we came. Careful not to fall in the lava. Now we're going to head up to here. And we're going to hit this yellow switch. Now, if you've gone too far, it's possible for this thing to have despawned. And if it did, you can just grab a new one from over here with a fan on it. But if your cart is still here, then you get back in it. Take a swing at it. Get ready to shoot you know about this rock. Like that. And then we're about to get chased, so we're going to turn around. 
Once we get lined up with this guy, we're going to fire. Like that. Then after that, we're just going to wait it out. And I just accidentally double tapped and pressed B. And now we're back to the start of the puzzle. That's great. So as I was saying, we're going to head down this way. And then it'll take us over to this section right over here. Once the cart stops, um, it's kind of weird now because now we have two of them because we were only supposed to have one, but I fell off. So we got to get one out of here real fast. Gonna take this one out of the way. Gonna jump back into this one. And then we're going to shoot an arrow at that, which will turn us around. And then we're going to hit this in order to get going. And Gor or Yonobo will get ready to fire. And we can go back to this. When we get close enough, we can fire him at that to swap the track. And then we head over to here. Okay, well, that is awkward. Oh my gosh, is it savable? It's still savable. Don't, don't do that at the end. Oh my goodness, do not do that. All right, now we're going to hit the fan. And then we're going to head over to here. And we're going to hit this thing. Which will bring the track down and open up the track so we can go. Now we're going to take this. And we're going to set it on the track. And we're going to hit that. And it'll take us back to here. So now from here, we're going to go over... Oh, well, yeah, it's fine. Okay, we can grab Yonobo if he'll stop running away. Oh my god, he, why is he running? I mean, I know why he's running. Okay, now... Okay, things are just weird. But oh, we got to wait for him now. There we go. Okay, so we're going to grab him. going to launch him at that... Okay, I don't know what is going on with him. He is just all wacky today. Here I go! All right, well, we're supposed to launch him at that, like that. <laughs> it's just, things can be very inconsistent with that guy. It's really weird. All right, so now we're going to go over here, wait for this platform and jump on it, and then recall. So wait till it gets close enough. Jump on it, and then recall. And then we can start walking across the bridge that it makes and get over to here. Then over here, there's this guy to fight. Who is really, really tanky. Like, this guy just takes a stupid amount of damage. Oh my god, he's still alive. There we go. Alright, so then we go over here, and we grab Yonobo, and we hit the gong. Well, that opens up the second lock. So that's two down. We got three left to do. There's a lot more puzzle to do, and it gets a lot more confusing from here. All right, so now we're going to head back this way, and we're going to jump onto one of these platforms and be very patient and just wait. Or we could just start connecting them and do all sorts of crazy stuff. But if we fall in the lava, we have to do it all over again, just the part jumping on like that. All right, so now we're going to go over to here, and we're going to get out to the here, and then we're going to shoot our bow over at that, which will make this go up instead of down. Then we're going to grab... With Ultra Hand, we're going to grab this... Rotate it around, put it back on the track, jump up in it, and then take a whack at it. Here I go. So this will take us up to another new area. And in this area will be another enemy that we don't really have to kill, but we're going to kill. So we're going to go over to this guy. Okay, well, thankfully I had a fairy. Don't do what I did. Just shoot at him until you hit a crit or something and then go for him. All right, there we go. Okay, so that guy's gone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a jet. I don't know if we even have to use the jet, but we're going to use it. Make sure to put it on symmetrically or it will make you fly off the track. So we're just going to put it on on the end like that. I'm going to grab this cart and head over to here. And then just drop it. Don't press attach. Just drop it. Go over here and hit this and hope it doesn't fly you off the track. Oh my gosh, almost flew us off the track. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. We got to deal with this guy. We don't have to deal with him, but we should. Extremely tanky, by the way. Okay. So after that, head back the way we were facing. Use Ultra Hand, grab this, bring it over, and attach it like that. 
Now grab your Nobo, get far away from it. You need to get far enough away. Aim for the center. And he may just hit that. So then just wait for it, try again. Your Nobo's very, very inconsistent. So maybe from right here, there we go. There's kind of like a perfect distance to it. Okay, now you're gonna go up here, climb up on this, and then use recall. That'll take you up to here. And then you just gotta wait for Yonobo to just appear. I'm gonna cancel that now. There he is. Grab him. Get the gong. And that's another lockdown. So now we have two left to do. Oh. Okay, I don't know. Somehow we didn't hit it. Right, let's do that again. There we go. So that's two. That's three down. We have two left to do. And it only gets more confusing from here. Okay. So once this is done... Just two. We're going to head over to here where you see the broken track. I'm gonna jump down here. Careful not to die to fall damage. And then we're going to hit this switch. Oh my gosh. Hit the switch. And then grab a cart. Um shake it loose from actually no. You know what? Do we still have the one? Okay, we have one right here with a fan. We want the one with the fan. I didn't realize those don't have fans. Alright, take this. Set it there. Get on it. Hit it, and we're good. This will take us back down to where we were, and now we're going to leave this area in a different way. So we're going to go over to here, and there are these two glowing bell things. I don't know what to call them. So we're going to hit the right one one time, and then we're going to hit the left one, and then we're going to hit it a second time. Then we're going to go over to this cart, Get up in it, take a swing, and that'll get us moving across this ledge. So now we can go across here. This will take us up to another new area we haven't been to before. We're about to get chased by another um, soldier construct, so get ready to turn here and hit him. Once he gets high enough, you can hit him and knock him into the lava. You have a large zone eye charge, by the way. I just want to point that out. That was a large zone eye charge. I right, get ready to jump off. Once it gets to this spot right here, you're going to jump off the cart. And you're going to head over to here. And now there's this right here. And there... Oh, that's right. We're supposed to take... Oh, I, got, I forgot for a second. Take him and use him on this, which will blow up this rock. Which will then we're gonna let, up, let water fall onto that. Then we can take this. Tilt it at an angle like that. And connect it on the end. I'm going to take this and rotate it around like this, and then rotate it around like that. Line it up right here, and then get your Nobo, wherever the hell he went to. There he is. And then we're going to shoot him across this, and there's a bell right there. So that's the fourth bell. Now the fifth bell is the most confusing of them all. So after that bell, a little bit more dialogue. And now we're going to use Alter Hand on this. We're going to turn around and put it over here and set it to line up with this. And then we're going to start shooting at it with Yonobo until he actually goes across correctly because he can't just not go across correctly. But we got it first try. Okay, so we hit that boulder. Then we're going to jump off here and use our glider and go over to this area. All right, so now what we're going to do is before we put this on, we're going to head over to here. So we can get close enough so we can actually get a shot on it. Then shoot for that. If you're not high enough, shoot a little bit higher. We're going to hit it one time, two times, and three times. And that'll make this rotate around like that. Then we're going to take this cart, and we're going to set it on the tracks. Jump in, and we're going to hit the fan. All right, so now we're going to get up on this track. It's going to take us somewhere new. It's going to wrap us around like this, and then up with an enemy. We don't need to fight... Well, actually, in this one, we don't need to fight this enemy, but we're gonna we're gonna fight this enemy anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him just since I have such a strong weapon. I don't want that that large zone eye charge if he drops it. He did not. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here to this cart. We're gonna jump in it, which is why you could have ignored him. You could just ran over this, and jumped in, and swung real fast. Here I go. All right, so now we're going to go in here. There's an enemy at the end of this that we don't even need to fight. So we're going to just shoot him at that to distract it. 
and then go to the right at this broken part and you're gonna jump off and glide immediately and then turn around and here is where we broke that rock so you're gonna go into here and you're gonna fall down into this hole careful not to fall all the way because you'll die to fall damage and there's another gong right here so once you nobo teleports into here there he is interact with him throw him at the gong and that is the fifth gong but we're not quite done yet with the fire temple there's a little bit more to do here so now we're gonna go over to this thing in the corner and hit it that'll open up this door and let us go back we're right near the entrance now there's a chest over there if you want to grab it so there's the entrance right over there so now that we've done all the puzzles now that we have activated all of the gongs now we're going to return here and if you didn't notice the first time when we interacted with this it was actually trying to open the door but it was locked so now that we activate this since those locks aren't on it anymore it'll actually just fully open which will lead us into a room so i'm going to skip the cutscenes and stuff there's some cutscenes here and then we're going to proceed okay so once you go into this room you can grab him and this room is circular, so you can shoot him anywhere, and he'll wrap around like that. We'll hit the rock, and that will initiate the boss fight. Now, I'm going to skip this cutscene. You can watch it on your playthrough if you'd like to. But we're going to skip this, and we have to fight this rock spider thing. Kind of reminds me of the first boss on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So grab him, let's go, shoot him out of foot, and then wait for the cooldown. This thing will shoot rocks to try to get you to hit them instead of it. But... Just go for the legs and try to avoid the things it throws. Go up here and swing on him. If you do enough damage, you'll get to phase two, which you probably won't because you probably won't have a weapon as strong as I just had right there. Although my weapon is about to break, which is unfortunate. So now he's going to go onto the ceiling, and you have to be quick here or else you can get in real bad situation. So quickly grab your Nobo and just launch him. That'll bring him around, and if he doesn't hit him, then things are going to get re really weird. So we're going to hope we can get out of here in time. All right, there we go. I don't know how Yonobo... Sometimes Yonobo just doesn't hit when he should. It's really weird. So now we're going to grab him again. We're going to launch him up there. Okay, that was my fault. I totally missed on that one. That was all me. All right, so we're going to keep doing this until we hit him. But now we got to wait for these rocks. we got to break our way out and then get out of here. Easiest way to line this up is just go dead center. Wait for Yonobo. Grab Yonobo. And then launch him straight at the side like that. Oh, the actual guy, he moved. He moved. So if, if he's center, you can do that. But I forgot that he actually moves around. So now we're actually going to have to aim this. So we can aim this like that. Hopefully that'll hit him because I shot him last second. Okay, it hit him, but I'm kind of trapped in here. So I'm about to take a ton of damage from the bombs. Like that. Definitely want to use a meal. Uh, his patience is probably a good idea here. I knew he was going to do that, but I shot anyway. And then I got surrounded, and the cooldown was so long that I couldn't get up to him. So we're going to go up to him. I'm going to go to my other weapon. Swing on him. I might not be able to finish him on this go. I can. But if you don't, he's just going to do the exact same thing as before. And you're just going to try to hit him by rolling Yonobo uh, up onto the ceiling and hitting him and knocking him down. And then that will complete the Fire Temple. After this, it's all cutscenes. Then you get the item so you can summon a ghost version of Yonobo whenever you want. And you're done. So that was it, guys. If you're having issues with any part of the Fire Temple, hopefully the solution was somewhere in this video for you. Now you know how to do the Fire Temple and all the puzzles in it in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.